Hi friends, this is Shivang here and today I am going to explain the concept of gram staining. Gram staining is a differential staining which helps in differentiating bacterial species into two large groups that is gram positive and gram negative. It is always the first step in the identification of bacteria. Also, gram staining is a valuable diagnostic technique in both clinical and research field but not all the bacteria can be classified by this technique and the bacteria that cannot be classified by the gram staining are called gram variable bacteria. This gram staining technique was first developed by a Danish scientist Hans Christian Gram in 1884. Gram was examining a lung tissue from a patient who had died of pneumonia and then he had discovered that certain stains were taken up and retained by bacterial cells that caused pneumonia. So let's understand the procedure of gram staining. Prepare a heat fixed smear of a bacterial culture then stain it with a crystal violet stain due to which all the bacteria will be stained purple in color. Then apply gram iodine solution. Gram iodine solution will act as mordant and uh, fixes the crystal violet due to the formation of crystal violet iodine complex also known as CVI complex. Then third step is the addition of a decolorizer such as alcohol or acetone. By adding a decolorizer some cells will be decolorized while some cells will retain the crystal violet stain. The last step is the ap application of a counter stain that is sephronin or carbalfutsin. By applying a counter stain that is sephronin the cells that are decolorized by adding a decolorizer will take up the color of this sephronin and appears pink or red in color. After the application of sephronin uh, observe the slide under oil immersion lens in a microscope and in a microscopic observation the cells that retains the color of the primary stain are gram positive bacteria and the cells that do not retain the color of the primary stain and takes up the color of the counter stain that is sephronin are gram negative bacteria. You must have been thinking that why this happens why by adding a decolorizer this gram negative bacteria loses the purple color of the crystal violet stain and takes up the color of sephronin and uh, why this gram positive bacteria do not loses the color of the crystal violet stain by adding a decolorizer so let's understand the mechanism this is a diagram of a bacteria uh, the left hand side is a gram positive bacteria and the right hand side and on the right hand side the there is it is a gram negative bacteria uh, the cell wall of the gram positive bacteria is uh, made up of 80 to 90 percent of peptidoglycan while in gram negative bacteria the amount of peptidoglycan is only about 10 to 20 percent but in gram negative bacteria along with the peptidoglycan this red layer, this red colored membrane, out the outer membrane is made up of lipopolysaccharide. And the yellow portion in this uh, gram negative bacteria between this uh, peptidoglycan and uh, lipopolysaccharide are called periplasmic spaces. So, when the crystal violet stain is applied on the bacterial culture having gram positive and gram negative bacteria the crystal violet stain uh, will result in a purple in color of both the bacteria then by applying a grams iodine solution uh, the formation of CVI complex occurs and this CVI complex is trapped in this peptidoglycan layer and the stain is fixed then 
the third step when uh, we add decolorizer such as alcohol or acetone uh, this lipopolysaccharide layer of the gram negative cell is washed off and the peptidoglycan layer is exposed and due to which the color of the prior crystal violet stain that is purple color is washed off and gram negative bacteria becomes decolorized gram positive bacteria do not decolorize because because of its multi-layered nature of the peptidoglycan here the peptidoglycan layer is thick and uh, becomes and during decolorization it uh, remains dehydrated of ethanol treatment so the gram positive bacteria do not uh, loses the purple color of the primary stain that is crystal violet while gram negative bacteria loses its purple color due to the loss of lipopolysaccharide membrane so when the sephronin is applied uh, in the last step this gram negative bacteria takes up the color of the sephronin that is pink or red color and appears pink in the microscopic observ observation so let's revise the four steps of this gram staining first apply a crystal violet stain on heat fixed mirror of a bacterial culture then apply gram iodine solution which acts as a mordant and fixes the crystal violet by forming a crystal violet iodine complex also known as CVI complex then add a decolorizer such as alcohol or acetone which uh, due to which some cells will decolorize and some cells will retain the color of the stain and the last step is the application of sephronin or carbal friction as a counter stain which uh, due to which the gram negative cell will appear red in color and the gram positive cell will appear purple in color as the gram positive cell retains the color of the primary stain and the last step is observe under oil immersion lens in a microscope and in a microscopic observation the bacteria will appear like this here in this uh, microscopic observation the purple color bacteria in the cocci form are gram positive bacteria while in the uh, pink color while the pink colored bacteria here are short rods and are called gram negative bacteria so that's all about gram staining my friends thank you for watching the video and have a nice day if uh, if this video is helpful in uh, learning the concept of gram staining then hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you